Even the best armor in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom won't hold up forever against the monsters you'll face. But thanks to great fairies, you can find ways to upgrade almost every piece of armor and unlock set bonuses as well. In Breath of the Wild, the great fairy fountains were often very hard to find in the wide world of Hyrule. This time around, you'll find them near very visible points of interest, but they won't come out of their flower buds just for anyone. Here's where to find the great fairy fountains and how to unlock them. Odds are, you may stumble across one of the great fairy fountains early in your adventure, as they can be found in sight of several of the stables across Hyrule. Woodland Stable in the northeast, Dueling Peak Stable in the southeast, Outskirt Stable in the southwest, and Snowfield Stable in the northwest. If you're having trouble spotting them, just look for the purple puffs of smoke near each stable, and you can head in that direction. Once you find a great fairy fountain, you will learn the rules of change since Breath of the Wild. Instead of a huge sum of rupees, the great fairies will refuse to come out unless they hear some wonderful music, and this quest can only be truly started once you've become a reporter for the Lucky Clover Gazette. Be sure to stop by the former Rito Stable, located in the Tabantha Frontier just below the entrance to Rito Village in the far northwest. There's only one great fairy you can coax out first for this questline. You'll need to head to the Woodland Stable located across the large river northeast from Hyrule Castle. A traveling musical troupe will report that they want to play for the great fairy Terra, but need help getting their cart working again. Replacing their wheels with Ultra Hand should be an easy task, but to tow the cart you'll need the Towing Harness Key item, which you need to unlock with three pony points from any stable. Registering one wild horse and visiting at least two different stables should do the job. Once unlocked, speak to the front desk when taking out a horse to customize it with a towing harness. Align your horse close to the cart and then drag the cart over to the harness, which is easier than dragging the harness since your horse cannot be moved, and then glue it on. Once fused, take them up the hillside to the Great Fairy. This will unlock the first of four Great Fairies, letting you begin upgrading your armor in exchange for a small sum of rubies and a few ingredients depending on the armor piece. Note that certain armor pieces like Monster Masks or the Archaic Set cannot be upgraded. If you wish to upgrade armor a second time to start unlocking set bonuses, you'll need to find another of the Great Fairies. With this questline started, you can begin to seek out the other Great Fairies that are helpfully marked on your map, and the musical troupe will appear at whichever stable to find next, meaning you'll be able to unlock them in any order you like. Oh. The other Great Fairies are highly specific for the kind of music they like, which means you'll need to find the rest of the musicians needed to get the Fairy Fountains operational once again. If you want to solve these problems on your own, turn back now. But if you want to see each solution, we're going to go over them next. The Great Fairy Miha is on a sloping mountain north of the Snowfield Stable and to the far northwest of the Woodland Stable where the first Great Fairy is, and requests the sound of a horn. This particular musician is trapped in a large hole along the road west of the Tabantha Great Bridge and Stable. Airlift his wagon out, and he'll rejoin the troop, rewarding you with some coarser bee honey. Be sure to hang on to these. Once back at the Snowfield Stable, you'll only need to give the carriage a roof and watch out for marauding bokoblins on horseback to reach this Great Fairy. For the Great Fairy Kotera by the Dueling Peak Stable, you'll need to locate the missing drummer named Beats. This guy is found in a somewhat hidden alcove off to the right as you ascend the path to nearby Kakariko Village, where Hestu's maracas were in Breath of the Wild. He requires three coarser bee honey before he'll return to the stable, which you hopefully still have from rescuing the horn player. At this point, you need to use your Ultra Hand magic to forward the musical troop cart across the river. <laughs> the final Great Fairy, Kesa, by the outskirts stable, will want the sounds of a flute, and you'll need to find the flautist up a tree right outside Highland Stable, located south of Lake Hylia, and give him ten sunset fireflies. When he returns to the musical troop back up north, you'll need to find a way to off-road their cart up the hill using bigger wheels. With all four Great Fairies active, each of them will now be able to maximize armor enhancements to a 4-star rank. Be warned, getting any piece of armor to rank 4 will end up costing you a lot of rupees and rare or endgame monster materials, but even improving the lowly Hylian hood from an armor rating of 3 to 20 can go a long way to improving your survival rates. Just make sure to prioritize upgrading a few key pieces at a time. And that's how you unlock all four great fairies so you can rank up your armor. If you need to know how exactly to make all the rubies you'll need for this process, make sure to check out our massive Tears of the Kingdom strategy guide on IGN.com. And while you're here, make sure to check out our guide on weapon fusion. For everything else Zelda, you're already in the right place. IGN.